I'm JC. Very glad to see you all again. Today we are going to learn a testing instrument for container glass. In our daily life, we use many of them, especially for food and beverage packaging. We use them to store milk, to store beer, to store potato salt, and so on. Comparing to other packaging material, Glass is recyclable. Moreover, glass has a high chemical stability and can effectively preserve the content inside. However, glass has low impact strengths and is easy to be damaged during conclusions. It is good news that we have found an effective way to enhance glass strengths. Glass annealing. Manufacturers use an annealing furnace to slowly cool hard liquid glass products. To some extent, annealing relieves residual stress generated during the melting. The question is how to determine with done proper annealing. Unproper annealing usually leaves a high level of residual stress. The presence of residual stress makes glass products fragile to impacts. It decreases its strength and reliability. Now we understand why it is so important to inspect glass residual stress. To expose glass residual stress, we need to use a special optical instrument, that's a polariscope. Some people also call it a strength viewer. A polariscope provides a simple, quick, and objective assessment of residual stress. In the video below, we will know more details about a general use polariscope. Just like this one, a polariscope basically consists of two cross polarizing filters, one on the top, another one on the bottom. On the top is an analyzer. When putting on a water glass, we are supposed to see dark and light strips from the analyzer. After inserting a sensitive tint plate, color strips are shown in front of us. In the base part, in the base part of the water glass, we can see some blue strips. This polariscope help us to figure out stress presence. If there's no stress inside a glass sheet, we can only see orbiting color, just like the background. Now I'm changing to another glass sheet. We see many clear blue strips here in the middle and here. This indicates the residual stress presence in these blue areas. Let's do more experiments. First one, another water glass. Pay attention to the best area. We can see some clear blue strips here and here. Now, in the body, we didn't see clear strips. Second one, a glass jar. In the base area, we also find some blue strips. But they are not so clear as the last sample. The third sample, a preservation box. We often use them to store food. In this sample, we find some irregular blue strips. After finding this stress concentrated area with a glass polariscope, we can improve in this situation by 
expanding annealing time and changing annealing temperature. That's all for the test sharing. Keep following us to explore more caliber stress words. See you next time.